Okay, these these are the colors that I'm going to use for this dress. And uh, this is orchid. This is uh, snow pea. And this is called eggnog. And these come from Hobby Lobby. They are, um, <clears throat> this is the brand. And um, they're Egyptian cotton. I'm starting with this uh, eggnog thread. And um, I chained 30 uh, three stitches and then I single crocheted a uh, second, second uh, chain from the hook and then I did the row in single crochets and that gave me 32 uh, single crochets. Now I'm on row two and I single crocheted nine stitches then I increased right here. I put two in the same stitch, two single crochets then I single crochet, single crochet 12 and now I'm at the point of putting in another uh, increase. So I'll put in two single crochets in the same stitch. Now there's nine left, so we're going to single crochet these nine. And every most of the tops and the dresses and things that I do, they have the same basic uh, start out top. So I'm not going to, it's, so, it's, it's all single crochets and increasing. So I'm not going to uh, waste time doing that over and over and over. So this is the second uh, row. The third row will be uh, single crochets. Um, just straight single crochet. So when you get this second row done, you have 34. Then you'll do single crochet a row, and that is uh, also 34 stitches when you're done. And then when you come back, uh, when we get done with that, we'll come back. Okay, I finished row three, two and three, and now we're on four. I've crocheted um, eight, and I'm going to do number nine. And number 10. So single crochet 10. And then I'm going to put in two in the next, <clears throat> excuse me, two in the next um, stitch, two single crochets for the increase. Then uh, we will go across and do 12 more. When we get on that 13th stitch, we'll put in two single crochets. And then there will be 10 stitches left. Now that is row um, um, four. Then we're going to do also row five. And when you do row five, you're going to do 11 stitches at the beginning. Then you'll do two in the same stitch. You do the same 12 across. And then you'll increase again in that 13th stitch and then you will have 11 left. Then row 6 will be a single crochet row and um, on the fourth row you will have 36, the fifth row 38, and then the sixth row 38 stitches. So we'll get this done and come back and then we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so we're back and we are on row seven. So uh, I've started this here and I'm going to single crochet 12 stitches. So there's eight, nine, that's 10. 11 and 12. Now I'm going to put in two in the same stitch. The next stitch will have two for our increase. So we have 12 and then an increase. We have 12 more and then our increase two in the same stitch and then we have uh, also 12 at the end. 
So that ends, we'll have 40 stitches left, or 40 on there, on the seventh row. Now, row eight's the same thing, only it's going to be 13 stitches, then two in the same stitch, uh, 12 stitches across, then two in the next stitch, two single crochets, and then you'll have 13 left here, and that gives you 42. Row nine is the same thing, only we up it again. So it'll be 14 single crochets, two single crochets in the same stitch, 12 in the middle, uh, two single crochets in that next stitch, and then 14 left to do. And that gives us 44 stitches. And so once we get that done, then we will come back. Okay, so we are on now row, row number 10. And we have um, single crocheted um, 12 stitches right now. So 12. We're going to do 15. So it's 12, 13, 14, and 15. And we're going to to two single crochets in the next stitch. So it's one, two. So we're going to do these next three rows again. And this is how it's looking. This is 15, then two in the same stitch. Then we have 12 across, two in the same stitch after that, and then 15. And that's 46 stitches when you're done with row 10. Row 11 is an increase to 16 stitches, two single, cro two, uh, single crochets in the same stitch, then 12, and then two in the same stitch, and then 16, and that gives you 48. Then on row 12, you will do 17 stitches, then you will do two in the same stitch, you will do 12, and then two in the same stitch, and then you will do 17 single crochets. And that gives you 50 single crochets when we get to row number 12. So we'll come back and uh, get this going. All right, we're on row 13. And uh, this we're going to come in and do 18 single crochets. So I've done 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now we're going to put two in the next stitch, two for the increase, two there. And then across we'll do 12 stitches. In that 13th stitch we'll do two more, uh, two more single crochets in the same stitch and then 18. And then on the row 14 we're going to change it. Um, and I'll show you right here now. So uh, instead of increasing we're going to decrease. So what we do on that is we take and we go in one stitch like this and we hold it. And then we go in the next stitch, pull it up and hold it. You have three on the um, thing, the needle, and then you go through all three. And that way you take two stitches and make it into one stitch, and that is a decrease. So on the next row, you will be doing that, and uh, I'll have the instructions up here. Uh, row 14 will be single crochet, 9, then you'll do two together in the same, or you'll do uh, two single crochets together, and then you'll do nine single crochets, two single crochets together, nine, 
and then two together. And uh, when you get to the end, you'll have eight single crochets left. So you do those eight. Row 15, do the same thing, and we'll do eight single crochets, two together, eight, two together, eight, two together. And then the end, it will still have eight. And that row, uh, the 13th row was 52 stitches. The 14th row is 48 stitches, and the la and the uh, 15th row we're down to 44 stitches. So once we get these uh, finished, then uh, we'll come back and start on the next part. Okay, so we did uh, rows uh, 16 through 18 also, and that uh, finished it off. So this is what it looks like. What I did is I pinned it to the back and made sure all this overlapped so we can put snaps on there. And um, so it fits uh, well. And uh, now we're going to attach the bottom uh, part of the bodice and we're going to change colors. And for that we're going to do the, uh, the snow pea. So we'll come back and uh, start that in just a moment. Okay, so we attach this new color and we've done five single crochets and I am laying this uh, strands down to put them in. So uh, we're going to do two now in the same stitch. So it's one, and two. We're increasing. There's 32 stitches here and we'll increase it to 37. So that's your first increase and then you'll just keep single crocheting um, in each stitch. So it's five, five single crochets and then it's two in the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, I'm having trouble with it, but I'll get it, five, okay, so then we're going to do two more in the next stitch, and that's the same pattern all the way across, so I'm just going to keep doing that, two, in that stitch. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. This is the top. This will be the bodice part. So we're going to continue that row and when you're done you will have uh, 37 stitches. Okay, so I just finished the row two and of the bodice here. And um, I did six single crochets, and then two in the same stitch, six, two in the same stitch, six, two, same stitch. And then uh, when we got to the last part here, there was uh, uh, nine stitches left. So we did nine stitches in the last nine, and that gave us 41 stitches. So everything else now uh, up to row 14 is going to be pretty much the same. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to um, put up here the uh, the number of rows for row uh, three, uh, four, five, and then uh, I'll do row six through thirteen is all single crochet, no increases, and then when we get to row fourteen. You'll do the row as a single crochet, but the last four stitches you will not work. You will hold off and stop uh, so that there's four stitches left unworked at the end of row 14. Once we get the, all that done, then we'll come back. We're on row uh, 15, and um, we single crocheted up to the 15th row now. We're at the last four stitches and, that we haven't worked. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take these last four stitches. We're going to lay them uh, like this. So the back should look like that. They'll lay on top of the other four stitches. So you're going to take and go into the first, that first stitch and go into the back of uh, this stitch here so that we can uh, do a single crochet and connect them. Then you're going to go into the next uh, stitch over and look on the back. Let's see, make sure I get the right one. Okay, right there. Single crochet. Okay, you can see this. And then go in the next stitch and see which stitch. Okay. So you just do that. You're going to connect these four stitches. Um, like this. And that way it's um, it's uh, connected to the to the the two backs are. Now we'll start working in the rounds and uh, we'll start doing a pattern and this is how it looks right now. And uh, we'll uh, be back to start the pattern. Okay, this is the pattern that uh, we've started. Right here it's called the single rib and it's a twisted uh, stitch. And so what I did is I started after we put in those four stitches right there, we went into the next stitch and we uh, double crocheted a row of white. When we came back we slip stitched and joined that. Then we brought in the green and did that row, white, green, so forth. So now I'm here on the white and I'll show you how to do this. So I've come into the end of the white part right here now and I'm gonna uh, pick up the green right here. Let's see if I can switch these around. Okay, so so this is the beginning where we started right there. So I'm going to take up the green now. And I'm going to go into once you do your first double crochet around, then you'll just do the same thing over and over. So I'm going to go in under that attach the green. Pull this down somewhat. Okay, so then I'm going to um, take in uh, one, two, only two on these rounds do we do. I mean two, two, two uh, chains, not three for, uh, for this double crochet. Then we're going to yarn over and there's a post there on your double crochets right there. There's a one in the back and one in the front. So you've got a back, I mean a front, a back, a front, a back. If you can see that. Okay, so you're going to go yarn over and you're going to go down in front, in the front post like that. Yarn over, bring it through. You have three on the hook and you will double crochet. Go through two and then through two. Then you yarn over and the next one is in the back. So we're going to go in the back like that and over the post pull through, yarn over and double crochet. So we're just going to keep doing that. You've got the front again. When it stands up it's the front. You go underneath the post like that, double crochet, yarn over, the one in the back now that sits back, you go under, 
under that post. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And then through it again and you pull it right through there and you single, I mean double crochet. So that's how it's looking. Just continue front post, double crochet front post, double crochet back post. That's all there is to this uh, stitch. Just keep doing it over and over. And when you come to the end, when you come to the end of this, I mark where I started, which was right here. So I mark that. When I come to the end, I'll do the white front post here. I'll do the back, and then it's hard to see, but there's another front right there. You should have 48, po uh, 48 stitches when you're done. You should have 48 of these ribs. Uh, front, back, front, back. Count those front backs. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to start the white. And then that's that's it. That's the entire um, um, pattern. So this is how it's looking. And uh, I'll come back and we'll do the white in just a minute. Okay, so I've come to the end of the green row. I'm going to pick up the white. So we're just going to go in. Uh, we did this last one, which was a back loop. We're going to go in this green where we started, pull through, sorry, we're not slip stitching, we're actually uh, single crocheting. Start over. Okay, we're going to single crochet. Alright, now we're going to chain one, two. Alright, now we're going to double crochet in the front loop starting here with the green. Double crochet. Then we're going to go in the back loop of the green, go in and in the back part. You pull through, you double crochet. Do it again in the front loop here. Pull up this front loop. See if you can see it. Front loop. Double crochet. Go in the back loop again. Right there in the back. Between those posts you come um, see if I can see that up and then through, pull straight through, and then you double crochet. Um, front loop, double crochet, back loop. Double crochet. And that is how it looks. The pattern just, uh, it's very simple. It just goes around uh, and you just keep pulling up as you need it or as you change colors. So, um, This is how it looks. It starts kind of a twisted uh, rib and it's a very pretty stitch. And um, once we finish all the rows that uh, I have up here in the instructions, uh, you can do this as long as you want, as short as you want, but I'm going to do it so many rows and uh, like I said the rows will be up here and then once we're done we'll come back. Okay, so we finished this off, and on the bottom, 
I put two rows of white. We finished with the white and um, I put two rows of white. Yeah. And then I just add a little flower there. You can add what you want. But this is uh, the dress and um, you can see the ribbing of it and the top. So um, if you like this video please uh, click the like button and subscribe and uh, we'll be uh, uh, bringing you more videos. Thank you very much for watching.